So a lot of people are waiting for the real estate market to crash. And if you keep waiting, you're gonna be waiting for a mighty, mighty, mighty long time. This is different than 2008 and 2009, all right? And so if you're waiting for the real estate market to crash, um, I have some bad news for you. Because what happens is, is that Right now, interest rates are at a historically all-time low. You can literally get finance and lock in money from between two and 3% on a 30-year mortgage. That is absolutely amazing. If you think about the boomers buying their McMansions, they were paying anywhere between eight and 14% in interest on their mortgages, right? So renting money or borrowing money is at an all-time low. And so even if prices are high, because you aren't paying that much in interest, it actually makes sense. And so what happens is if the real estate market were to go down and prices were to go down, guess what's gonna go up? interest rates, interest rates would go up. So you might be able to get the same property, but your interest is going to be higher. And I actually have some numbers where I'm gonna prove this to you because some of you are missing out on this once in a lifetime opportunity to lock in debt at a 3% interest rate. So I, I wanna run these numbers by you. This is the same home, $300,000 home, okay? At 3% interest rate with 3.5% down, the total interest on this property is gonna be $165,000 over the next 30 years at a 3% interest rate. If that interest rate creeps up by 1% to 4%, guess what the total interest is on that property? The total interest will go from $165,000 to $226,000 in interest. So you're literally about to pay $60,000 more for the same exact property simply because you waited and allowed the interest rate to increase by 1%. $60,000, that's after taxes. So pre-tax, you would have had to earn $100,000, not even earn it, save $100,000 to have $60,000 pre-tax, right? So, or after tax. So this is why you should not wait. You need to take advantage of the cost of debt right now. And I know some of you have a negative relationship to debt because you've typically had bad debt, but there is such thing as good debt. Okay? Bad debt is debt that you have to pay back on a single family home mortgage, on credit cards, on student loans. Good debt is debt that you use to buy an asset that pays not only for the debt, but also pays you. So when you understand the difference between good debt and bad debt, and you see this opportunity to access debt at a historically low interest rate, then you actually move and take advantage of this opportunity to get into real estate right now.